main reason for why people come to Turks and Caicos is obviously we have incredible beaches, an incredible lifestyle. We are a British territory. All investments made are protected by the Crown. We don't have income tax. We don't have property tax. We don't have capital gains tax. This all makes us a very attractive investment opportunity. We have great medical, we have great education, great destination to invest into. To get to East Caicos by flying in from any of the major North American hubs to Providenciales, you would take a small flight over to South Caicos. From there, you would charter a boat over to East Caicos. The acreage for the offering is 1,407 acres. It's the largest land offering in the Turks and Caicos for a total linear frontage of beautiful beach at 6,435 linear feet. The reason why you would buy in East Caicos is because it's the next Providenciales, has been considered for years by locals and investors. What you see here is Grace Bay Beach as a close comparable. You're gonna get exactly the same powder sand, width of beach, beautiful waters, all inside a reef that protects you. As for the deep water access, off to the east, a potential joint venture with government, commercial port, luxury super yacht marina. Again, it's just a myriad of opportunities, potential ideas for developers, investors to come in and really make this their own playground. You can have hotels and resorts and private villas all along the beachfront, but what you're missing there is what comes behind the beach. The urban infrastructure, the ability to build offices, retail, private airport, potential joint venture with government on an airport, solar farms, water parks, all the things that make a great island a tourist destination. And I think if there was one thing that I would change, 22 years here in Provo, it's beautiful, it's incredible, but sustainability, eco resorts, green build options, I think any developer that comes in and really taps into that, that's something that gets me excited as a real estate agent.